Hello everyone, I'm Donna Howard, Vice President of Institutional Advancement and Executive Director of the Morgan State University Foundation. Today we're here to commend our students who receive scholarships during the academic year and to honor our donors whose generosity helped make higher education possible for some 1,400 students. Generosity and academic achievement are the cornerstones of this annual recognition event. And while we're not together in person, we couldn't let a year go by without highlighting the power of giving and what it means in the lives of individuals and communities. To our scholarship recipients, congratulations. You stayed the course and sustained your academic progress despite the disruptions brought on by the pandemic. We're proud of you and wish you continued success as you matriculate at Morgan and go on to make your mark in the world. To our donors, we couldn't have done it without you. Your generous support makes it possible for students to come to Morgan and create successful futures despite their financial circumstances. Thank you for your support and commitment to Morgan students and to the greater community. Before we hear from Dr. Wilson and others, I'd like to thank you everyone again who made a gift to Morgan. Your support and commitment to meeting the needs of our students is deeply valued and appreciated. We look forward to seeing you next year and to being together again in person. We have over 8,500 students here at Morgan uh, as of the last fall enrollment. Every single investment that our alumni, friends of the university can make in helping these tremendous financial challenges of our students will go a long way in getting those students uh, to taste the joy and the magic of a Morgan degree. You would be amazed at what any gift, how far that can go to keep students in school. Morgan students are really the heart of the school and their commitment to service ends up in results that students are having in their communities and in their careers. I think Morgan's values around innovation, diversity, excellence, and integrity are values that we share and we wanted to be part of supporting their vision. Morgan came to us and they wanted to improve academic outcomes, retention, graduation, and those are the things that we want to help with as well. Scholarship is a great way to do that because it removes the barrier that some students have for affording college and staying in college. So that was the best fit for us and for Morgan. The foundation's responsibility is to manage private funds, private donations. We use those funds and we invest those funds and therefore university programs, improving those programs, and also for the benefit of students who otherwise could possibly not attend Morgan because of the cost. With the development office, and the institutional advancement and then Dr. Wilson, we were able to increase the alumni giving rate from 6% to 16%. It's important for us to recognize donors, those who have it in their heart and mind to support our students and support our university. Whiting Turner is making a significant three-year investment in Morgan State. And a little bit of background on that is, I heard a report that a number of the students are having to drop out because they need to support their family. I gave a call to Dr. Wilson and we quickly had a meeting with a number of uh, key stakeholders and we decided to make this gift to make sure that those young people can stay in school and still have the ability to make sure their families are in good shape. And it's been quite successful as that pipeline has stayed intact, thankfully. I live at home with my mom. She's a single parent and she teaches at Burtonsville Elementary. My older sister is also finishing her education at North Carolina A&T State University and is going to vet school at Tuskegee in the fall. It's hard to put two kids going through college, through school. She's doing this on her own. I'm also going to grad school after I finish my education at Morgan State. I'm gonna need as much support as I can to get through college. Working at retail and um, being a full-time student, it's a lot to juggle. So it was like, you know, a challenge to really focus on my academics while working, paying, you know, for books and tuition. The scholarship really helped me to um, focus on my education. I'm a third generation Morgan State University student. My grandfather went here on my mom's side and my mom went to Morgan all four years. So it was definitely a legacy for me to be a Morgan Bear. I'm a very um, involved on 
on the Morgan State University campus. My commitment to the scholarship has helped me to prioritize on my academics. It also has helped me to apply myself for the future for applying for graduate school and internships uh, for my field as well. The partnership between uh, corporations and universities is crucial these days. It's very important to have industry input in a university setting, but before you get out in the world, you really need to understand how business is done and how organizations interact and what some of the real world problems are. And that's where it's so important to have someone come into the classroom who perhaps just solved that problem today on the job site. Well, the greatest benefit of our partnership with Morgan is the pipeline of talent that we have coming to us. And we have 25 people now who are Morgan State grads. In recent years, we really have hit stride in getting a lot of young talent in the door. I didn't think I was gonna be able to continue my education. And so I reached out to the Morgan community, somewhere that I'm pretty familiar with growing up around the corner from Morgan, actually. Morgan has always been a school that I dreamt of going to. It was something that I wished that I could go to. I wished that I could go as a kid. Coming here, it was just a blessing to me, and I've just immersed myself fully into the Morgan culture, and I'm so thankful that I see these black leadership and this community around me, and it really inspired me to continue my education as well as invest in some of my people. I chose Morgan State because of their wonderful engineering program and for the family feel on campus. I grew up in a single parent household. I am a first generation college student and also the older sibling. So it's difficult starting school, trying to be a good role model for my siblings. It was financially difficult. So these scholarships helped me to pay for housing, food and gas and things like that. I chose electrical engineering because I have been exposed to STEM all my life, and I love what you can do with engineering to help others. We always had that feeling of giving back because so much was given to us. I'm not a self-made man. We are not a self-made couple. We have received a lot of help. And I think that as our kids got older and they got made their own way, we started saying we need to give back. Personal philanthropy was always important. For me, I went to a historically white college to see black professors, people who look like you, teaching the sciences, which was a good inspiration. You didn't have to prove to the other students. They accepted you as being their equal, that you were there because you were qualified. Follow your dreams. Don't let people talk you out of it. It's going to be hard, but keep pushing. Whether it's $100, whether it's $200, or a million dollars. These gifts are transformational for a significant number of students here at Morgan. Uh, they don't have enough money to buy books. A simple book award uh, will go a long way in ensuring that that student would not fall behind in their classes. When my classmates get together and we talk about our Morgan experiences, we always go back to the instructors that we had and the wonderful examples that they set for us. They wanted us to succeed. All Morgan students remember the struggle of trying to pay for their education. What went into the decision for the class of 67 to establish a scholarship fund was the fact that we were about to celebrate our 40th and we were looking down the road to our 50th. And so we wanted to do something that left a legacy. After graduating, I plan on working for the Boeing Company full-time as a lab test engineer. Thank you, Lockheed Martin, for this scholarship and the opportunities it has provided me. I am a current graduating senior. I graduate on May 21st of 2022. Next year, I will be attending the University of Maryland. I will graduate in May of 2023 with my master's in social work. After I graduate, it is my plan to work in communities and it is my plan to work with families to give back to the communities that I have lived in and to give back to Morgan. I think Morgan's 150 year history, being the largest HBCU in Maryland, being one of the first in the country, it has a lot of meaning in Baltimore. I do think it's significant that both Morgan State and Whiting Turner are true Baltimore institutions. I believe is very appropriate and probably bodes very well for the communities of Baltimore because we can do a lot more together than we can apart. If we can make some contribution to the future generation, we want to be 
contributors of that. Part of Morgan's mission is to focus on helping address societal issues, and that's something that we also focus on. We've funded 16 scholarships, including Morgan, and six of those include community service. And for us, we are hoping that these college graduates will give back to their communities and whatever careers that they choose and help us solve issues that we can't do alone as philanthropy. We need future generations to be educated and active in their communities. This scholarship is not only a blessing to me, it's a blessing to my community. My goal when I graduate is to start a nonprofit for uh, battered women and misplaced women so that they can receive uh, certificates and degrees in the tech field. So that's something that I'm really passionate about, about giving back to my community. When you invest in me, you're investing in my community, you're investing in black people, you're investing in black women. My goal at the end of the day is not just to get my degree and leave Morgan and just make a whole bunch of money. My goal is to leave an impact. So being impactful, being a revolutionary, being someone that's a voice of change in my community is something that I'm very passionate about. If I can change one life, then I feel like I've made an impact. The alumni giving and the corporate giving are intertwined. Uh, and the more our alumni are giving percentage-wise, the better the case we can make to the private sector uh, of the necessity of them to give as well. When I graduated from a small high school uh, in Cambridge and there was an agreement that the valedictorian from that school had a full scholarship to Morgan and I was fortunate enough to be the valedictorian so I went to Morgan. After I got into the Morgan community, it was almost like a family. When I met the professor, Robert Smith, I received something from him that he said he didn't give out very often, and that was an A. This man, every time I would go to him and say, thank you, he would just walk away. And then I guess one day he got upset, looked me in the eye, held me by both shoulders and said, this is an English professor now. He says to me, you don't owe me nothing. He told me, when you grow up, you make something of yourself, I want you to help someone else. Then I shall be repaid. And he said, I expect to be repaid. And that has always been on my mind, and I've never forgotten. Reach down to raise, reach out to save, and reach up to praise. And if you do that, then you will be fulfilled beyond belief. I thank the donor so much for helping me. Thank you so much. I would like to thank my donor for this scholarship. Thank you to the Clara I. Adams Honors College for awarding me the Jenkins Scholarship. Thank you so much to my donors. 